What's up all you neogenic loving dudes and dudettes, Toysha's here, and we're going to be talking about the brand new Spider-Man Marvel Legends Lizard Build-A-Figure Wave. This is one of the coolest waves that has come out in a while. Marvel Legends, Hasbro, they're absolutely killing it. The character selection is fantastic. We're starting to kind of finish off a certain group or two. We're starting a new group or two with a few of these figures, and we just get some all-out coolness that is just off the charts. So let's open all these up and take a look. So I decided to call myself the Prowler. Okay, up first out of the eight figures, we're gonna take a look at Prowler. Now, he originally in the comics, his name is Hobie Brown, and he was kind of like a, uh, a burglar. He caught up with Spider-Man. Spider-Man kind of gave him like a pass if he would change his evil ways and such like that. But I think that uh, Hasbro uh, really captured a, a, a terrific likeness of the Prowler. I haven't had a Prowler figure, and I remember picking it up at KB Toy Stores uh, since the old Spider-Man the Animated Series line, and it, uh, it was it was really hard to find. I remember KB Toys were the only ones that were carrying it, and I never never saw it again. I think I picked it up with him and the black costume symbiote Spider-Man. I think at the same time, I think they were in the same wave. Don't quote me those are old memories but let's take a look at the figure he does have his traditional purple and green and everything looks pretty grad um his the whites in his eyes are a little bit hard to see especially from far away i mean they're there but it's not too uh too prominent uh it's a good uh, paint on his chest good belt sculpt it's you know it's using uh, the same molds as we always get it's you know nothing new uh on my figure here though uh the it's kind of like what it looks like, you know, like the the bullet thing. It, they're not really, but it's kind of like the lining of his of his boots. They don't, and these are on on both sides. They don't go up any higher, to which they're supposed to kind of cuff around, um, you know, the the swivel right there. The mine, I'll have to heat them up. Uh, they don't. Um, just these are just out of the packages, so they don't go up any higher than that. Now he does have kind of like a higher, um, you know, calf muscle back there so that's a big hindrance but as far as I am aware it, it's supposed to go all the way up and cuff around his boot just like you know up here it cuffs around his glove these are actually cool these are separate pieces if you pop off the hands then uh, yeah you can slip these off but he does have a cool cape that actually it comes right off but it does have a really cool peg uh, that goes right here and it uh, pegs right into his back and it really, I, I think Hasbro put a little bit more um, time and energy into the capes because usually, you know, they don't stay on very well uh, with, you know, most figures and such. But this one pegs in nicely and stays on, you know, very cool. He's got standard articulation. Uh, it's nothing too crazy than, you know, what we're usually used to. So, all in all, it's, uh, I, I like this figure a lot. He's not... He's not too crazy. He's not like a very prominent um, figure or character to me at least. But he is well done. He looks exactly like the character should. And that's something that I really like. So I like this figure. I think it's a great accessory to um, you know just having your Spider-Man figures in general. So well done. I, uh, I'm digging it a lot. Look, up on the building, it's Spider-Woman. And up next we have the new Spider-Woman in her spider costume essentially <laughs> they did the redesign uh probably about a year or two back and while i really like the classic jessica drew spider woman costume this one's a not a not a bad update you know it's interesting and i'm glad we got a figure for it as you can see she has her sunglasses or visor glasses goggles whatever you'd like to call them she has nice sculpting overall this is all uh sculpted underneath it's not just paint a little bit of um slippage kind of here and there with the black lining just right there a little bit of chippage right there but nothing nothing that's too crazy that you know it's gonna hinder the aesthetic or the look of the figure she has some silver uh, right there on the buckles that's kind of nice i'm glad that they uh they kind of put that little touch in there she doesn't really come you know with any accessories other than her goggles if you want to say that but she, you know, she comes with the largest piece of the uh, the lizard build a figure, so I guess that makes uh, makes up for it. Uh, the painted plastic right there for her flesh kind of works. It's it's okay it, for what it is. I mean, you can tell that that's supposed to be, you know, her hand and such like that. It's not a part, and she has paint on her fingers to uh, designate. Uh, ooh, that's a little sloppy right there. 
kind of gets into the knuckles. Not not too too bad overall, but as you can see, yeah, just a little sloppage. Not too crazy. I'm not hung up on it. Uh, here's the back. Here's the butt. Here's the legs. Again, standard articulation. No double jointed elbows on this. We got no uh, Proxima Midnight thing going on. <laughs> um, standard feet articulation. Nothing, nothing new, nothing different. The other thing I do like, but these are going to get real lost real fast. Her glasses do come off and you know, there's her face. Very pretty face, very well done. It has that nice uh, flowing plastic. There's nothing um, shiny or glossy about it. So that's really cool. And it's just, it's an overall nice flesh, uh, flesh tone. And you know, her eyes are pretty, lips are well done. So it's, a, it's an aesthetically uh, pleasing figure. And then what you do is just kind of the glasses slip underneath her hair, between her face and her hair, and they stay in. Excellent. You know, they don't uh, they don't fall off. They kind of start to slip out of there just because I'm rocking it back and forth. It, it, they stay excellent. Uh, I Well, it's not my favorite costume for this particular character. I don't have a problem with it. I think she's well done. And again, I think Hasbro nailed it on both the likeness, what her costume is supposed to look like. So all in all, if you're a big fan of Spider-Woman and just keeping up with the, the Spider-Verse in general and having all the Spider-Man characters, I'd say pick her up. She's cool. Ah, this world's version of Spider-Man. Very noir. And up next we have uh, what appears to be an articulated black blob. I'm just kidding. Um, there's not a lot of paint on this guy, but uh, what he does have in, uh, in lack of paint, he does make up for in just an overall coolness factor. And the best part about it is he does look like he's supposed to look like. And this is Spider-Man Noir. He's from an alternate reality where you know Spider-Man kind of exists in the 1930s, 1940s New York, and he solves crimes and does this cool thing. He comes with a pair of blasters, which we have we have seen a dozen times. He holds them well. The trigger fingers don't exactly, you know, fit. You can, you can kind of finagle it, but it, they don't fit, you know, exactly. I'm sure you could heat them up if you really wanted to go into it, but I think it, for what it looks like, I think it achieves the, what they're going for. Also, the jacket, we've seen a thousand times. It is the body for, um, the ghost rider and what's nice is that you can put one of it's you can put one of his guns in the gun holder right here but i really wish that he had had two gun holders <laughs> that would have made yeah, a little bit more sense you know what i mean um from the back you know nice sculpted jacket and i i really think that with all the reused parts on this guy it's a it's a smart reuse you know it's not too out of control crazy it just, it works well, and like I said, it, it looks exactly like Spider-Man Noir should. He's got a great face sculpt, you know, the face mask, the goggles, everything else like that. On mine, this is kind of funny, uh, yeah, this is a better angle. The, his, his arm, just from being in the plastic, his arm is totally warped out, you know, this way. Um, it's supposed to be more, I don't, I'm not going to force it right now, but I'll heat it up and, and fix it. But um, yeah, as you can see. He's got a little bit of the, the wonky wonky elbow going on there. Yeah, it's, there we go. That shows it. That's uh, straight out, and it's all the way bent. So that nah, it's it's okay. It's an easy fix. You know, just like I said, heat it up, get some hot water. I don't do the, the hair dryer thing. I just, I'm afraid I'm going to melt it or something like that. I get too crazy. But the hot water uh, trick usually works for me. He's got ankle rocker, standard articulation, nothing too crazy, nothing outlandish, nothing really new but overall i like this figure a lot i don't have any problems uh with it outside of just like the warpage that was because of the packaging that's you know that, that'll happen it's a quick fix nothing was broken so that's even better but if i uh, have to say uh I, I i like this figure it's not exactly you you have to get this figure but if you have a spider verse collection it's definitely going to be warranted and i think it's going to definitely look good on yourself so go pick him up And up next, we have Lasher from the Venom storyline and uh, actually his very own comic book, uh, Lethal Protector, when the Life Foundation kind of got a hold of, um, you know, Venom's suit and produced, you know, a couple symbiotes out of it. So that was uh, that was a fun storyline. That was one of the first comic books that I had involving Venom when I was a little kid. So uh, it, it's it's nice to have Lasher. And uh, as a fan of the old 90s uh, 
you know, Spider-Man animated show, they had figures, multiple figures for these types of characters, especially when they did the Venom uh, spinoff line and stuff like that. So this is kind of a nice update. It looks, uh, you know, more more in scale. They kind of went crazy with those figures uh, back in the day. Each of them had a little gimmick and such like that. But this one is very, very nice. Um, he is, you know, a majority. He's a, he's a repaint. Of course, you know, we can see the black costume, Spider-Man eyes and such like that. The thing that I like about this figure, though, is that the paint is very, very cool. It's like a nice neon, almost like a glow-in-the-dark kind of green. It just, it looks, it looks very, very, just standout-ish. Um, the green pops, uh, you know, against the, uh, the darker kind of green. His tentacle whip kind of things that plug into his back. As you can see, you know, this is obviously a uh, superior Venom figure, also kind of repainted. Uh, these are a metallic sort of green. If it's kind of show, oh, there you go. You can kind of see it. It's a different, you know, we got three different greens and black going on, but all in all together, I think they work very well and they produce a kind of like a menacing looking figure. I have to say <laughs> he's got, you know, the sharp toes. He doesn't have just like, you know, the flat kind of boot feet. So I, I definitely like that. And also, you know, he has clawed hands and, and such. These are not, um, posable just like the other ones you can kind of sort of flip flip these around uh if you have them in the right you know holes and stuff like that like you could put this one just kind of bent a little bit so it comes over here so you can kind of interchange them to a degree but it's nothing crazy and i think that uh with everything with these with this whole set of eight figures this one is one of my favorites just in terms of the color the aesthetics and everything I, uh, I just, I really gravitate towards the symbiotes. I'm looking forward to getting Scream, you know, after she was shown at the New York Toy Fair. So I'm hoping that, you know, we continue to get more symbiotes and not just repaints of Carnage and Venom. Although the um, pork rind figure, I'm looking forward to that one. <laughs> uh, all in all, I say definitely pick him up. Uh, if you're a Venom fan, if you're a Spider-Man fan, just a Spider-Man villain fan in general, he's got to be on your collection. Go get him. <laughs> And next up, we have just the figure that I have been waiting for ever since I saw this last year at the uh, the Hasbro breakfast at San Diego Comic Con. Man, that I, when I saw those figures all laid out, this entire um, this entire wave, I was just like, they finally made a Spider Punk figure. And I remember talking to some of the Marvel guys. And I was saying, thank you. And they're like, oh, you know, like, it's like a figure we really wanted to make and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then, of course, after I'm like, well, hey, guess what? You should, now that you've done the figure I most wanted, can you do, like, another figure that I wanted? And, you know, sure enough, I had said either do, you know, Silver Surfer or Ghost Rider with his motorcycle. And guess what's coming out? So because of because of what I said, it's, it's definitely because of what I said. <laughs> Yeah, right. They were probably like, yeah, dude. Yeah, we, we, we already, we, we know what we're doing. Like, get out of here, nerd. Anyways, let's get into Spider-Punk. He is just, he's so rad. I, I'm so happy to, to have this figure. He comes with a friggin' guitar. That, <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, he has his vest. He's got little pins. Imagine having, actually, I might do this. Put a little anarchy sign, you know, on one of his pins. Um, he has the tribute to the no effects on the back. God, that's so rad. I, I'm a big fan of uh, punk music, so if you can't tell. Anyways, he's got his, uh, his spikes, you know, like the Sex Pistols and stuff like that. He has his uh, Converse shoes, or if you want to call them, you know, Chucks, whichever that you want to refer to him as. But uh, the best thing, the coolest thing ever, is that he has a hand with a guitar pick in there. That is so, just the, the attention to detail. They really went all out on this figure. They did it right. Uh, if you're going to make a Spider-Man that has a, a guitar, for God's sakes, uh, you know, they, they really went all out. Plus, he's got the devil horns, you know, he's throwing them up left and right. God, this figure, he's so cool. He's also got um, the butterfly joints. His vest is removable, but I'm not going to take that off. You know, what, what's the point? And he also comes with two interchangeable hands. One of them is like, a, I could say like a, you know, a string plucking hand right there. And then this one is just a standard fist. So they fit in very well. Nothing, uh, nothing too hindrance. Um, overall, this is my favorite figure in the line. If you can't tell already, 
his articulation is perfect. There's nothing wrong with this figure. He he's spectacular. One of my favorites. He'll be sitting on my uh, on my computer desk. So yeah, he's he's definitely definitely the coolest. He, if you if you don't get him, I don't know. I, I don't collect Marvel anymore. <laughs> Just kidding. He uh, yeah, he's he's definitely the coolest. You gotta get him, hands down. Number one figure of this entire wave. Go pick him up. I can resume my leading role of Mysterio. Now let's disappear. And up next is the spooky, the mystifying, the terrifying Mr. Mysterio himself, Quentin Beck. He is finally an updated one, at least. He's finally made it to our toy shelves, and he is looking great. He's got some excellent magic, illusion production uh, hands going on. Mine, he's... <laughs> I'm going to have to heat him up again, kind of like with uh, Spider-Man Noir's arm, but he's got some major broken... I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. He's got some major uh, twisted fingers just from being in the packaging. Nothing broken, but uh, if his hand, if this was a real person's hand, yeah, they would... <laughs> it's like he got him caught in a, in a door. Ah. Anyways, um, the, the sculpted line work on him is great. This is an all-new sculpt. Uh, it's, it's really nice. They really went all out. And again... The main thing I have to say about this entire wave, at least so far, is that the characters, while they are a mixed match of, you know, reused parts and everything, they 100% look like their characters are supposed to. And I really appreciate the level of detail. Just in Spider-Punk alone, if that's any indication, they, it's a, they really went all out and they made these figures with, you know, some time, some energy, some heart. So it's, it's very much appreciated. Now, the other cool thing is that, uh, you know, everyone's been talking about, did you get green? Did you get white? Obviously, I got white. And let's pop this off. So you get to see a, uh, a spooky-looking skull. It's kind of got an octopus tentacle wrapped around. Very uh, Mike Mignola, I, you know, I would say, just in terms of the art style and stuff like that. God, that's really cool. The, the thing I like more about it than, you know, the green version is that this one looks a little bit more just spooky you know you can see details but you don't exactly know what it is and the green one's a little bit too um kind of on the nose i would say honestly get the white one uh, out of out of the uh, out of the two yeah like the um like the prowler figure the you know the cape and the globe are are one big thing this slips right in his back that works well then you just kind of situate the cape right there and it fits in perfectly nothing's coming off so they really hit a home run with the uh, the capes on this series of figures too he comes with two green effects that kind of snap onto his legs not too tight but they do definitely stay and it gives a little bit of stability to the figure they're kind of like uh, carrying on with the octopus tentacle kind of thing a little bit of smoke and mirror magic and stuff like that so it definitely looks like it's got the poof effect um let's see what else really nice sculpt work in his um kind of like gauntlet kind of things this is very you know on the money for the old mysterio comic uh well i mean sorry when he appeared in um you know the comics and stuff like that his very first appearance had they put you know black or a little bit of wash into this it would have been like like they actually did with uh with the line work here it would have been just magical <laughs> the cape looks a little glossy but uh, in terms of that it's it's flat there's nothing um sculpted uh though in terms of line work on the inside of the cape it has this nice pattern effect and you can feel it it's uh you know it's risen above so it, it looks great another home run uh for this wave it he's he's perfect he's everything that you want in a mysterio figure it's ugh, man they they killed it this it's a great figure he's one of the most talked about most wanted anyways out of this line so if you get a hold of him get him if you can get the green or the white go for the white one but either way you're gonna have a blast with this figure so definitely pick him up and up next we have the gwenpool figure and this is another one of those figures where i kind of gravitate towards it just because of how unique uh you know the colors are the character is the accessories that you get it makes for a fun well thought out figure uh, I'm not too familiar with Gwenpool at all I know a little bit about her backstory and such like that but as a big fan of Gwen Stacy and a you know, pretty good fan about Deadpool 
you know, this is a no-brainer. It's a cool mashup. It was a cool idea for when they first did it, uh, and they introduced her in the like a kind of like a one-off thing in the Spider-Verse comic. So I'm, I'm happy to see that they made a figure uh, with her. Like in true Deadpool fashion, she comes with a ton of accessories. She's got a great head sculpt. This one in particular, she's got her tongue out, kind of licking her lips or doing, you know, the classic, you know, girl pose when she takes a, <laughs> takes a selfie and such like that. The pink uh, is painted rather nicely. A uh, couple, couple slight nicks just here and there. And actually, you know, for being a, uh, you know, a painted white figure, you know, there is a little, there's a little mark right there. But, um, eh, little marks here and there. But it's not too standoutish unless you really are kind of pointing it out. And you know, sometimes it just gets a little dirty. Um, the white gets a little um, see-through around here. You can see this was pink, and they just kind of painted over it. Uh, nice gauntlets, you know, hands. Uh, she has a really cool belt. Um, I, I appreciate that they, you know, made a new belt for her and stuff like that, but the, <laughs> the best part is her uh, penguin scabbard backpack. That's that, It's like it's like chunky little penguin. That's It's adorable. Um this when i first took it out i thought it was, i thought it was like a tattoo i was like oh that's interesting uh you know she's got the printed number on there i don't know why they do that i don't think anybody knows why they do that i know why they do it i just i really wish they'd put it there anyways uh again kind of a little bit of warpage in the packaging um simple hot water it'll fix her right up standard articulation nothing too crazy although uh, i was it looked like a new sculpt at the torso but i believe this we've definitely seen this before on a female figure the um, the swords fit in nicely. Uh, they don't have really any trouble going in. This side is a little bit more snug, but just be careful. You don't want to actually pull too hard or anything and then end up snapping your swords. She comes with a medley of accessories. She comes with an alternate head sculpt, which is just her smiling. And I like the little uh, <laughs> little Ghostbuster kind of like tag to it. Kind of looks like Slimer's, uh, Slimer's butt. Um, I don't know, random thing. She comes with probably the, soon to be, the most lost accessory on the planet. Oh, <laughs> exactly. It's gone. You will never see that again. Anyways, no, it's a, uh, it's a well-sculpted, you could put a little ink sticker on there if you really wanted to. I might actually do that. Uh, it's an iPhone, so that's cool. You can see the little, you know, power button, home screen uh, button, everything else. So that's really well done. And she holds it well. And just a couple extra hands. Um, this one for the camera. This one, a little bit more for the camera. I could I could see that. And then, of course, these ones are for her katanas. Or guns, even though she doesn't come with any guns or primarily for her katanas. But you know what? I'm sure if you got some guns, everyone has like a drawer full of accessories. So I'm sure you'll be fine. You'll find something. But uh, yeah, she definitely... She's a cool figure. I'm really glad that you, you can have a lot of fun with this. You know, I've just already been taking like, you know, mock-up selfie photos with the, her and the other figures and stuff like that. So definitely, definitely pick her up. She's an amazing figure. Go get her. I'm the first of a new race, a better race. And last but not least, we have the mighty Build-A-Figure. Finally, finally, like I said, after seeing this, you know, close to 10 months ago in San Diego, we have the Lizard Build-A-Figure, and he looks absolutely fantastic just just he's heavy he's a nice bulky figure he looks massive he looks like the lizard should uh the thing that's funny is that he totally reminds me of the spider-man the animated series you know kurt connors when he was doing the neogenic recombinator and stuff in the old uh, spider-man the animated series show so this one definitely harkens back not so much the face sculpt but uh it's you know the tattered clothes the white jacket you know, I even like that they kind of have the uh, the sewer kind of, you know, dirty, dirty uh, lab coat that he's got on. That's a nice touch. Goes into the sleeves a little bit, too. Um, I You know, what would have been really cool is to have like a, a Kurt Connors name tag. You know, actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to make one of those. I could totally do that. Um, yeah, that's my idea. Don't take it. <laughs> no, I think uh, I think that would just be fantastic to see. I do like the tongue. I think it's a little bit. Venomy, I don't really I know that there's particular one scene I remember just you know Saturday morning when they would play the ads for Spider-Man the Animated Series um, in the opening he would have his tongue kind of thrashing around and then but 
They also did Venom with his tongue thrashing around. So, you know, uh, I don't have a problem with it. It's fine. It's made of a very, you know, rubbery material. It's not going to hinder anything. Uh, he's got a nice articulated jaw that gets in there pretty well. And just the overall face sculpt is really nice. Nice hands. Everything is totally brand new. He has, let's open him up, his hands a little bit. Um, his chest has, you know, the ripped black t-shirt and such like that. Mine, when you when I put them together, this arm got a little loose. It's, I think it was kind of hindered by the, the whole size of the jacket uh, in the sleeve. But um, managed to get in there. Not a problem. I'm a big fan of this tail. I know a lot of people um, haven't really been, you know, digging it, but it. Uh, I will say the tail. It's very hard to get in there, so just don't. Just be careful not to break off, you know, the peg that gets in there. But it's a well articulated tail. I I like it. It has nice detail on the underside. Nice detail on the top. This I really I love this figure. The only problem that I have, and I saw it in San Diego, and it's the first thing I thought of, this head does not look like the lizard. It looks like a velociraptor from Jurassic Park. I get what they were trying to do. What I think they should have done, you could go with this head all you want, and you know he's a little bit more reminiscent of modern day comics, although the lizard really hasn't appeared like this outside of, let's say, the ultimate lizard, where he, in the ultimate comics, that he was a little bit more like full-blown kind of dinosaur -y. so I could see what they're doing but this is definitely a, a dinosaur head sculpt uh, is you know the bone structure and everything else had they given us like a classic secondary uh, lizard head that would have been the icing on the cake that would have been just spectacular he does have peg hole in the bottom of his feet the other thing I will say about this figure and I, I'm not gonna do this on camera because I'm afraid it's gonna snap if you've noticed I've had him in his crouch position this whole time these, I've done it slowly. I'm, I'm going to have to heat them up with hot water or something. These legs are solid. They are not going anywhere. They are permanently bent right now. So I'm going to heat them up a little bit and see you know, if I can kind of get them unstuck. Other than that, with all the details, with all the sculpting, with all the various parts, the overall size, the bulk of the figure, this figure is it's amazing. It's an amazing build a figure and I'm really glad that they just went all out so if you absolutely have to have the lizard and I do highly recommend this figure you're gonna have to get all seven figures and build the eighth so just yeah he's I can't I don't have enough nice things to say about this figure I really really like it he's he's great it's a great spider-man villain definitely go pick him up and build him <laughs> And that is my entire review for the Spider-Man Marvel Legends Lizard Build-A-Figure Wave. It's a, it really is, it's a terrific seven-figure set. And then, you know, the bonus is getting the eighth uh, Lizard Build-A-Figure. Because the eighth is just, it's a massive, bulky figure. And a lot of time and energy went into that, you can totally tell. The figures, while they do have a lot of reuse, remolds, you know, utilizing old parts and stuff like that. I can't stress enough that the figures, every single one of them, look exactly how they're supposed to look. There's nothing off, there's nothing like, oh, I don't know why they did that. Except for the head on the lizard. Everything looks like it's supposed to look like, a, just the love and just the attention to detail that went into this particular wave of figures is outstanding. Marvel, Hasbro, you guys are, are really just killing it. Every single wave that seems to come out, you know, just in 2018 alone, we'll just start there. Black Panther was fantastic. Now this wave. It's you're doing great things, and I hope you continue to just keep up the aesthetics and the quality that you guys are doing. There's a couple paint slips here and there. There's a couple weird, you know, lines or you know, misprinted things, sure. But you cannot say that this line isn't, you know, fantastic. And it's just it continues to grow. The, the different characters that we're getting, just the obscure, the like, oh my god, I can't believe they're making that. Just the fact that we got Gwenpool and, you know, Spider-Punk in one wave, that's fantastic. We're starting the symbiotes, you know, with last year, we're going to get Scream soon. We have Mysterio, one more figure, which is Doc Ock. We got the Sinister Six. We got the obscure, you know, the Prowler that everyone was excited to kind of put into, uh, 
their collection. You got Spider-Man Noir from the Spider-Verse, and we have the updated Jessica Drew, and you know, it's it's fantastic. So I actually, I'm gonna give this wave a full nine out of 10. You have to find this wave, you have to pick them up. I don't have enough nice things to say about this. They are so worth it, just go get them. Thank you guys very much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. If you like the video, uh, please hit the like button below and also you can hit the subscribe and also hit the notification bell. That way if you're driving home or if you are bored and want to watch something fun, it'll uh, give you a little ringtone and you can see you know exactly what I posted. I just got the new Avengers wave as well so that'll be going up hopefully tomorrow. And uh, I think that's, that's about it. Definitely go get this Spider-Man Lizard Build-A-Figure wave. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great night and adios.